Hey y'all, welcome to this episode. Um, I'm going to answer the top four questions that I get asked all the time about nutrition. And these are just, they. these are the questions that people have asked me over and over and over for years and years. And I would love to give y'all a really simple answer. So I'm gonna try to do that as best as I can. Um, basically, question number one people ask me is how many calories should I eat? And guys, really, that's there's no way for me to be able to just randomly tell people how many calories they should eat. But um, if you will change the types of food that you're eating and trade out the calorie dense food for nutrient dense food, you will naturally reduce calories and that will be a whole lot less stressful than trying to count everything, right? So what I mean by that is um, nutrient dense means there's tons of vitamins and minerals. So you're talking fruits and vegetables and uh, healthy fats, nuts and avocados and lean meats. And calorie dense foods are things highly processed. So cheeses, um, snack foods, crackers, pretzels, chips, um, desserts, those kinds of things are calorie dense and nutrient poor. So if you'll swap those out for nutrient dense, they're automatically lower in calories, okay? So you will automatically be reducing those and that's really where your weight loss is gonna come from. Uh, question number two, do I need to count macros? Okay, so first let's say what a macro is. Macronutrient is your carbohydrate, your fat, and your protein. That's it, there's only three. Um, and you need all three of those to survive. There are certain vitamins and minerals that are only fat soluble. So if you're not getting any fat, if you're on fat free, you're not gonna be absorbing four essential vitamins and minerals. Um, if you're on no carbs, then you're not gonna get the energy sources that you need, nor fiber. And if you are not eating enough protein, then you're just not gonna be able to get the branched chain amino acids, your um, muscles are going to suffer, you're not going to be able to grow those, and your metabolism is going to slow. So you need a good combination and a good ratio of all three macronutrients. Now, that's going to vary from person to person. Um, so really, if you will learn how to portion control for your body, if you will learn meal timing for you, and if you will learn also the specific foods that are digestible for you, then your macronutrients will be naturally in line and you'll get the proper ratios that you need without going insane and having brain damage trying to figure out how many carbs and fats and proteins you're supposed to eat at every meal. It'll just become a natural um, process for your body. But you've gotta figure that out specifically for you. Um, okay, number three. Ha. I get this all the time. People say, I do not have time to cook. Um, I have to eat out some, or we just do eat out some, or I don't know how to cook. Um, how can I eat out and still lose weight? And is that possible? Yes, that's totally possible. There are seasons in our lives where Tracy and I are going at both ends and we eat out every meal. It just happens, except breakfast. Um, so breakfast generally is the easiest one to control and the easiest one to do right. So I say focus on breakfast and trying to get that one right at home. It's really easy to do that. I've got tons of videos. Y'all go to my um, video page and my YouTube channel and y'all look at those videos. I've got tons of breakfast stuff and ideas and that'll help you out that doesn't take any time. You can prep the night before. Um, but if you know specifically what your plate is supposed to look like, and that's something that I teach in my nutrition classes, um, but if you know what it's supposed to look like, you should have those tools and the skills to be able to eat out anywhere, anytime, whether you're on vacation or you're just super busy and you don't have time to cook, um, and you should be able to make your plate look right. You'll know visually what that means, what your portions are, what your macros, right, how many, um, what your meat and your starch and your vegetables should look like, and then you will be able to make that look right at any restaurant. Now, um, knowing how to order is also a skill, and I can definitely teach you guys how to do that too, but yes, the answer is yes. Yay, you can totally eat out and lose weight or stay on your healthy nutrition plan. Um, okay, number four, how much should I weigh? Y'all, 
Okay, so this is so specific and individual to each person, and a lot of things factor into this. So it depends on your lifestyle and, and your kind of um, what your activity level is. So are you bodybuilding? Are you doing triathlon? Are you just an athlete in general? Are you just, um, are you a grandma and you want to chase grandkids? Are you um, a stay at home mom and you've got four little ones running around or are you single or are you um, in a wheelchair? I mean, that could be possibly something to consider too. So I can't just say, well, you should weigh blankety blank. It depends on what your lifestyle is. It depends on what your fitness level is and what type of fitness that you're doing. So um, how much you weigh is going to differ between a bodybuilder and a marathon runner. And that's just the way that goes. So nailing down your lifestyle, nailing down um, your fitness level and the type of fitness that you enjoy doing. And then also your body type's gonna play a role in that. Um, as well, and some people are just naturally going to carry more muscle than others, and they're going to weigh a little bit more, uh, but they can be super lean and weigh more because muscle weighs more than fat, right? So just to say, you know, if you're 5'4", you should weigh 110 pounds. Well, that may not be necessarily true. If you're stocky, you carry more muscle, you have bigger bone sets. So it just kind of depends on your body type as well. But I like to tell people you should weigh as little as possible and be able to live your lifestyle and be healthy and getting all the nutrients you need from your food. So what I mean specifically by that is if you weigh so less, so you're so light and you're so underweight that you cannot run around the block, that you can't perform in your job, you can't perform in your sport, you can't perform in your life, then it's too light for you. Um, if you're not performing well in your sport and in your life because you weigh too much. Again, that's not your healthy weight either. Um, also, if you're so underweight that you're not getting the nutrients that you need from your food, you're not eating enough, so you're not getting enough vitamins and minerals, um, you may have brittle hair and nails, you may have skin problems, your eyesight, you may be dry, um, gum disease is another sign of that, um, just mineral deficiency, so constipation um, or some kind of bowel issue, arthritis, or just um, some of those things that are going to be related to maybe malnourishment a little bit on, on that, um, then you need to eat more and you're not at a healthy weight, right? So basically weigh as little as possible, the lighter you are, the better you're going to move, the longer you're going to live, the less stress it is on your joints and on your heart. Um, but you've still got to be able to be eating enough food and getting enough nutrients in that you're not in, in a mineral or vitamin or mineral deficiency, right? So hopefully, I know that's a little bit vague, but if you need specific one-on-one -on -one help, holler at me. I'm glad I do a complimentary free uh, phone consultation with you guys. We can schedule that anytime and see where it what needs you have there, and we can nail down some more specific details on that and figure out all your calories and your macros and meal timing and portions and all that good stuff um, personalized for you. But hopefully that's a place to start and that'll get you thinking and you can um, make some changes at least with that some information uh, in general and get started. Also, I put a link in there. I'm so excited. I'm offering a one-time only event for my Odessa peeps. Um, and I will be taking this hopefully to other cities too, but this time we're gonna start it here. And so click on that link and see about that. There's lots of cool information in there that um, I'm so excited that I'm gonna to get to share with you guys. So hopefully this helps and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.